about the unit 4 in electricity magnetism and electronics that is basic electronics devices okay i am prakash working as a lecturer in the department of physics and electronics at kbn college okay in this session we are going to have the contents like uh, what is manvp junction diode what are the what is its working principle what are the different biasing conditions exist there and the vi characteristics voltage versus current characteristics in pn junction diode then we are going to have uh, zener diode its circuit symbol uh, like uh, how it can be represented in a circuit then about the transistor transistor configurations and current amplification factors okay the first one is about the pn junction diode coming to the introduction that we require in pn junction diode is pn junction diode is a semiconductor device formed by joining two types of semiconductors like p type and n type we are know what is meant by p type and n type semiconductors you know like when uh, trivalent impurities are uh, are doped with the pure form of semiconductors then we will get the uh, p type semiconductors when the pentavalent impurities are doped with the pure form of semiconductors or semiconductor crystals then we will get the n type of semiconductors then by joining the p type and n type semiconductors uh, there exists a junction which is known as the uh, layer which is known as the depletion layer okay this is how a pn junction diode is formed the pn junction diode allows the current flow in only in one direction in general diode is a device that allows the current to pass only in one direction while blocking the opposite direction okay the diode operates based on the principle of majority and minority charge carriers we all know that the majority charge carriers in p type semiconductors are uh, uh, holes and the minority charge carriers are electrons similarly the majority charge carriers in n type semiconductors are uh, electrons and the minority charge carriers are holes then this is how a pn junction diode is represented okay, the symbol of pn junction diode consists of two arrow marks you can see here Uh, an arrow which is pointing towards the n type material you can see here an arrow which is represented towards the n type material the layer in the depletion layer it has it has as i said p n junction the layer which is uh, separating the p n type has no charge carriers at present okay the p type material is connected to the anode and the n type uh, material is connected to the cathode coming to the working principle of pn junction diode mm, uh, this is how it works in the absence of electric field like uh, when you do not connect any circuit to the pn junction diode uh, then there is no external field some electrons in the n type region neutralize uh, holes near the pn junction diode in the near the junction here similarly some holes in the p junction move to the n region here you can see they will move to the n region thus they neutralize by recombination these electrons and holes will recombine thus near the junction a one small region the n side is more positive here you can see you have uh, the holes of the p region here uh, you can have more number of holes towards the n side and more number of electrons towards the p side this region where the charge carriers are neutralized is called as the depletion region okay the place where the charge carriers are neutralized is known as the depletion region the potential difference across the junction is called as the junction barrier or we can say that potential barrier the potential barrier can be increased or decreased by applying some external uh, voltage so all this happens this depletion layer all this happens in the absence of electric electric field or in, you can say in the absence of field and coming to the first condition that is forward bias condition which means that the positive terminal of a battery when the positive terminal of a battery is connected to the p type and the negative terminal of a battery is connected to the n type then this condition is known as the forward bias condition okay p is connected to positive and n is connected to negative terminals of a battery the holes from the p type semiconductors are repelled as you know that the uh, positive terminal and holes are will get repelled and uh, move towards the junction 
simultaneously the electrons in the n type and the negative terminal of the due to the negative terminal of the battery the electrons will move towards the junction this decreases the depletion layer and the potential barrier the charge carriers the junction and the electric flow current in the circuit thus the electric uh, current flows through the circuit there is minute current flows through the circuit you can see here the depletion layer is very narrow why because the holes in the p type and due to the positive terminal of the battery the holes are moved towards the junction and the electrons in the n type and due to the negative it is connected to the negative terminal the electrons will move towards the end uh, depletion layer now coming to the reverse bias the holes in the p region uh, you know that the minority charge carriers in hole in p type is electrons and the majority charge carriers are holes the holes in the p region is towards the back side uh, coming to the reverse bias condition as i said in forward bias condition it is that uh, the positive terminal of a battery is connected to the p type and the negative terminal is connected to the n type uh, which means which is quite opposite in the reverse bias condition okay. it states that in reverse bias condition the positive terminal of a battery is connected to the n type and the negative terminal of a battery is connected to the p type here you can see in this diagram p p type of semiconductor is connected to the negative terminal of a battery and the n type of the semiconductor is connected to the positive terminal of a battery um here we can see that uh, the majority charge carriers uh, will be in p type will be attracted towards the negative terminal and the majority charge carriers in n type are attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery the holes in the p region are attracted towards the negative side uh, and the electrons in the n region they are attracted towards the positive polarity of the battery thus they move away from the junction here hence the width of the repletion layer will get increased this increase the potential barrier this will increase the potential barrier due to the thermal agitation a small current flows across the junction which can be read only through the help of a microammeter okay here the difference between uh, forward bias and reverse bias you can see the repletion layer in the forward bias condition is narrow but whereas the depletion layer in the reverse bias condition is much more wider now coming to the current and voltage characteristics the forward bias condition uh, uh, you know that uh, it allows the current to flow through the diode in forward bias but whereas in the reverse bias condition the current flow except for a small leakage current okay it will only exist for a small leakage current um uh, here you can see that the graph is drawn between by plotting uh, the voltage along the x axis and the current along the y axis here a graph uh, it shows the relation between the voltage and current as a forward bias you can see as the forward bias uh, increases the current increases steadily at a very uh, rarely exponential rate but whereas in the case of a reverse bias the voltage increases the reverse current increases firstly but slowly then it drops suddenly okay then coming to the zener diode a zener diode is a special designed pn junction diode okay it operates in reverse condition or reverse breakdown voltage it is used for voltage regulation and protection in circuits the zener voltage is crucial parameter it for its operation Okay. Uh, as i said the definition of uh, zener diode can be said as follows like a properly doped pn junction diode which has a sharp breakdown voltage when operates in the reverse bias condition is called as the zener diode okay it is noted that the the diode which a pn junction diode which operates in the reverse bias condition is called as a zener diode here you can see that the symbol of the zener diode here it maintains a constant voltage drop across its terminals in the breakdown region okay zener diodes are often used in the voltage regulator circuits so coming to the transistor transistor uh, which mean which is nothing but a device which will transfer the resistance we can say that the transistor which is nothing but transfer of resistance 
ठीक है ट्रांसिस्टर द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ ट्रांसिस्टर इज दैट बाई सैंडविचिंग सेमी कंडक्टर इन बिटवीन टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर इज नोन एज ए ट्रांसिस्टर ओके देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसिस्टर वन इज पी एन पी ट्रांसिस्टर एंड अदर वन इज द एन पी एन ट्रांसिस्टर ओके वेन एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर इज सैंडविच इन बिटवीन द टू टाइप्स ऑफ पी टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर देन द फॉर्म सेमी कंडक्टर इज नोन एज दी पी एन पी ट्रांसिस्टर Similarly, when a p-type semiconductor is sandwiched in between the two n-type semiconductors, then the formed transistor is known as the n-p-n transistor. Okay, these are the circuit and uh, symbols for the p-n-p and n-p-n transistors. These are as follows. The major difference between the p-n-p and n-p-n transistor is that the if the arrow mark is indicated towards the base terminal. in the emitter region then it is called as the pnp if the arrow mark indicates towards the emitter side only then the uh, transistor is known as the npn transistor okay there are two ma three major parts uh, in the transistor namely emitter base and collectors these are the three major parts that exist in a transistor emitter region it uh, constitutes the right side of the circuit uh, or uh, the right part of the transistor okay the right part of the transistor is called as the emitter emitter uh, it will provide the majority charge carriers to the base okay or to the collector towards the collector okay that is why uh, in order to provide the majority charge carriers that is why the emitter is heavily doped now coming to the base region it is a lightly doped as compared to that of the collector and emitter okay the base region is lightly doped as compared to that of the emitter and collector this constitute the middle part of the transistor and coming to the collector it color, it constitutes the left part of the transistor and it accepts the majority charge carriers that are emitted by the emitter okay that's why it is called as the collector these are the three major parts that are uh, in uh, transistor coming to the transistor biasing it is that the emitter base junction is always forward biased while the base gen collector junction is reverse biased you can see that condition is known as the transistor biasing here you can see in the circuit diagram the emitter base junction is forward bias that's why p terminal is forward bias means p terminal is connected to positive terminal of a battery and n connected to the negative terminal of a battery that's why p is connected to the positive terminal and n is connected to the negative terminal similarly the collector base junction is reverse bias you can see that the collector p is connected to the negative terminal and n is connected to the positive terminal. if you can take a npn transistor also it is the same that Uh, emitter base junction is forward biased whereas the uh, collector base junction is reverse biased there are three types of configurations that exist in uh, uh, transistor configuration that is common base common emitter and common collector these are the circuit diagrams and symbols for the common base configuration common emitter and common collector configurations here you can see Now, coming to the first one, common base configuration. Here, the base is grounded, which means common base means that the uh, base is grounded, and this base is used for both uh, terminals. But uh, that is both input and output terminals. Here, you can see that the base is grounded, and uh, E, uh, B, the emitter, uh, the circuit. Uh, you can see here that the base terminal is used for the input as well as the output output purpose. and coming to the second one common emitter configuration here uh, similarly as in cb configuration in ce configuration is that the emitter is grounded okay the emitter terminal is grounded uh, and this emitter terminal it is used common for the both input and output purpose coming to the common collector configuration it is that uh, it is that uh, it is uh, vc is connected to the this collector is connected to the ground and the it is used for both the input and output terminals 
Uh, the last one is about the current amplification factors that, uh, that exist in uh, CB configuration, CE configuration and CC configuration. So the current amplification factor alpha that we are talking now is about the alpha is defined as the ratio of emitter current or you can say that the, the ratio of uh, collector current without the amplification. Okay. Or you can say the ratio of collector current to the emitter current without the application of signal is called as the current amplification factor alpha. That is why it is written as alpha is equal to IC by IE, which means that the ratio of collector current to the emitter current IE is called as the collector current IE is called as the emitter current. The next one current amplification factor beta this exists due to the CB, CE configuration which means that the ratio of collector current to the base current is known as the current amplification factor beta without the application of the signal in this CE configuration it is represented with beta that's why beta is equal to IC by IB IC is called as the current amplification beta is called as the current amplification factor in the CB con CE configuration IC is called as the collector current and IE is called as the IB is called as the base current then coming to the third one current amplification factor gamma which exists due to the common collector transistor CC transistor the ratio of emitter current to the base current without the application of signal is called as the current amplification factor gamma okay, gamma is equal to IE by IB gamma is the current amplification factor in CC transistor and IE is called as the emitter current and IB is called as the base current 